Alright, what's up guys? It's Al from It's Android's World and today we're going to be taking another one of my full review and tutorials on another ROM that was been released for the Android community. This is actually D-Wang version 1.15. So here it is. As you can see, the stock lock screen is enabled on this one. It's pretty stock. Um, you got some widgets included on here that aren't included but don't seem to work very well. Um, the music widget always has a problem loading for me and I don't know if it's because I don't have any music loaded on my phone but when I load news and weather as you can see I just get this loading screen and it didn't go away for about 30 minutes so that's a pretty big bummer I wanted to see what that widget looked like but apparently it does not work but um, this is the stock analog clock that is included with the device um, and we've seen this on the Eclair, or on the Motorola Droid on the Eclair firmware. So this clock is really nice. I do enjoy having it on my home screen. And um, this is the application drawer. It actually looks just like the Eclair, which I like personally a lot more than the stock Android 1.5 and 1.6. Tall goes down here. And when you open up the application drawer, you get the 5 grid instead of the 4. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but you get a nice little sequence background for the drawer. You also have Eclair style um, icons, which is always nice to have. I like the market icon. I like the messaging icon. I like a lot of stuff about that. The quick search box is still very high in the notification bar, unlike on Eclair 2.0 where it's very leveled and even. So that's one small disadvantage to every single donut ROM out there. If you guys don't know, D-Wang's ROMs come with something called a 10 megabyte RAM hack. And basically what that does is take 10 megabytes of RAM from your 3D gaming GPU and place it into your main CPU so that the ROM can speed up um, substantially. And the fact that that's done means it takes away hugely from 3D gaming. So if you guys use your G1 or My Touch 3G to play games, then you do not want this ROM. You probably want Cyanogen or Super D. Um, I don't know if Super D has the RAM hack as well. But it seems to handle gaming a lot better than um, D-Wang. But D-Wang is insanely fast in everything it does. Look how fast applications open. Bam. And it's already loaded. Bam. Go home. Bam. So D-Wang is extremely fast when it comes to things like that. Switching through applications is blazing fast. Um, you have five home screens on the default D-Wang ROM. And of course D-Wang has tons of themes you can come with it. And it comes with the default Eclair style theme. You also got your wallpaper gallery built into here and the wallpapers included are pretty nice. You have quite a few of them included in here. And of course to set one you just find the one you want and hit set wallpaper. And it's instantaneous. Like a lot of things D-Wang's ROMs can do. So D-Wang is extremely fast. Um, take a look at the dialer. So this is the dialer. Um, nothing too special. It's just nice big buttons that you can easily dial with. And then stock up on top. So the, that's the D-Wing dialer. Nothing too special once again. But it is definitely nice. Um, you have your browser which actually has multi-touch and double tap. As you can see I can double tap and zoom in. But I can also zoom out with multi-touch. And I can also zoom in with multi-touch by going like that. So it's it's pretty remarkably smooth. As you can see, if I get both my fingers on it even, it really zooms in nicely and zooms out nicely. Which is one thing I really like to see on Android ROMs. And of course, double tap to zoom is always enabled on a lot of the new ROMs these days. So um, that's the browser on here. And that's really, really nice to have. Um, what else? You also have the market, and this is the latest market. I'm going to go ahead and sign in with my Google account. Alright, never mind. <laughs> I met the terms of service. And um, it loads up. It's very quick, very fast. Um, Dwayne also handles a lot of loading information very well. So if you guys have a lot of stuff and you always fill up your phone, Dwayne is really the way to go because it's extremely fast when it comes to that. Um, of course, this is the new market, and you can switch between your apps, and go back and go to games. So it's really nice. Um, Auto rotate is on the home screen, as you can see. And if I slide my keyboard open, it just stays, which is good. So that's pretty nice to have. And if, once again, if I rotate, there we go. 
Um, overclocking your phone always speeds up the ROM, and I always recommend you set it to the minimum and maximum of the full 528 megahertz, and then you hit set to it, which will speed up the ROM substantially, even more than it's already. As you can see, it, it sped it sped it up so fast that this finally worked, and um, that's also really nice. Um, let's see if the music widget will work now. All right, it works now. So as you can see, overclocking is a huge improvement to your phone. I'd highly recommend you overclock, especially on D-Wing's extremely fast ROM. Um, D-Wing is very fast and smooth. You have a ton of options on here. Of course, you have root. You don't come with um, wireless tether or wire tether, which is kind of a downgrade. But um, yeah, D-Wing, guys, if you guys are looking for a fast ROM that just performs extremely well, D-Wing is definitely the way to go. So let's go ahead and get into the tutorial now. Um, hopefully you guys might want to get this ROM. So what you're going to want to do is unplug your um, USB door. Then you're going to get your USB data cable and just plug it in to the bottom of the phone. And scroll down the notification bar. Hit USB connected and hit mount. And then go to your computer. Alright guys, so now that we're at our computer, all you're going to want to do is open up your SD card and delete any file that's on there. Which of course is a very easy thing to do. You delete the files, then you find wherever you downloaded D-Wing to and drag it to the root of your SD card. As you can see, it will be a 45.3 megabyte file transfer to your root of your SD card. So that should not take long at all. It actually should take very quick. And we'll just zoom back out and get to the screen. Alright, so now what you're going to want to do is safely eject your phone eject your phone from the computer. And once it's ejected, um, go back to your phone. So now that we're at our phone, you're going to unplug the USB cable from your phone. And you'll get the preparing SD card logo, so wait for it to go away. And then when it's gone, turn off the phone by holding down the end call button, tapping power off, and tapping OK. Once it completely powers off, power back on the phone using home power. And you'll get the G1 screen. Very simple to do. And um, then, there's a few ways you can navigate Almond Raw. I believe you can use the volume toggle, which is right here, to go up and down. So as you can see, that does work. I'm not touching anything, just the volume toggle. You can also use the trackball, and that will cause it to go up and down. Or you can do the command. So as you can see, wipe is Alt to W. So you hold down Alt and click W. And then the first one is wipe data partition for zero. So you hold down Alt and click O. And then you can hit home to confirm, and it'll wipe everything. Of course, you can also use the trackball and select. And then you select D-Wang and hit home and let it install. So I'll get back to you guys when it's done installing. And once it's done, of course you guys know to reboot your phone. And again, I'll get back to you guys when it's rebooted. Alright guys, and now that it's done, you have officially flashed um, D-Wang 1.15 onto your phone. So um, of course go to the market and search overclock widget and download it and install it and then place it on your home screen. And there you go guys, you'll have D-Wang running insanely smooth on your SD card. Thanks for watching guys. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Make sure to rate five stars, comment if you need any help, and subscribe for more videos. I'll see you guys later.